Okay, so what I have here is another inlet um, so inlet manifold. It's the top induction pipe. So this, because the inlet manifold sits underneath. So this is where the fresh air comes in from the wing of the car. Through there, along there, and into the air filter. Through the turbo, through the intercooler. Then it comes in through here, along, around this 180 degree, around a 90 degree, and into the EGR valve. I'm not sure why... Land Rover or BMW have, have, have kind of designed it with this such a harsh bend here. So the idea here is to cut all the way along here, because this is just a mold. These are two separate pipes just held together with this bracing plastic. I'm going to drill lots of little holes along here and just remove this front piece, get rid of it, and replace it with this. Um, so that should... It'll work, it'll fit, but my concern is how I'm going to secure it to the engine so it's not flapping about as I'm driving along. Um, but uh, I'm going to have to wing it as I go. Let's see how we get on. So that's the drilling done. Um, it's quite thick plastic, quite hard. So now I've got to find myself a saw and cut off that front pipe. So now I've got a pad saw. I'm going to attempt to cut one of these screw holes. Uh, drill holes, screw holes, drill holes. So one big long cut. fit back onto the car so it's just uh, try and error at the moment we'll put that on and see how it all fits together if it looks like this plan is going to work out then I'm going to clear it up all this edge I want to leave it there for now because I might I might need to cut some slots in it for cable ties to go around the other pipe I'm just going to sit beside it Take the uh, standard manifold off.
Yeah, well, that fit pretty good. It's a bit loose, but I think that can be easily fixed with a, a slot and a cable tie to hold that in place. This all feels quite nice and snug. That fits nicely. Ooh, yeah, I think this could work. Of course, one of the pluses of this is when you come to do an air filter change, you don't have to take any of this front piece off, you just unclip that, lift this out, and then the air box will come up. So it removes the uh, requirement on having to remove the whole the whole piece. I know a lot of people say changing air filters a pain. Let's just make it a little bit easier, I think. Right, so in order to keep these two pipes, the, the original modified one and the new one clamped close together, I'm going to cut a slot just along here, big enough for a nice big cable tie to go through, a tie wrap. The idea is that I then hold the pipe, squash them together so they can't rub, can't damage each other. Uh, should hold the pipe in place. Now it's good to go. And there we have it, fitted. Not run up yet. All pretty secure, for now. Um, I, wanna, I do wanna work on that, make it a bit better, but I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. I've seen standard manifolds flap around more than that. So I think the next thing I do, fire up and see how we get on. Test drives next, but so far so good. Well, it's now the morning after the day before, so all the work I did was yesterday. I went out for a test drive last night, took in some nice hills, some dual carriageways, even a bit of green lane in. And I really do think this has benefited the performance of the car. It feels a little bit more responsive. The turbo lag seems less. I wouldn't say it's gone altogether, but certainly less. It does feel a little bit more talky. Um, it's subjective, it's such a small amount, but I'm, I'm, I'm convinced it's worth doing. You know, the parts cost me 51 quid. Um, so I think for the sake of an hour's work and 51 quid, uh, I'm pretty pleased with the outcome of that. So uh, I hope you found this video useful. Please do a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel trying to build it up. Um, my next video is coming soon, is about fitting heated seats because this has standard cloth seats without heating. So this weekend we're going to go and pick up a full set of suede leather seats. So there'll be a video coming on that soon. So subscribe and then you'll, you'll see that, that video coming out. Anyway, thanks for watching.